Do you remember how the infinite used to sound? And now? Well, now we help it sound like this. Hold up. Days go by when I pull up. They all on me like a one time. Think I got what you need while I have none. Hop off Yo, your feet. Welcome back to another Storytime episode where we want to take you on the journey that is Epidemic Sound. As many of you know, I'm a sucker for analogies and that's why we've come down here to the abandoned train tracks in the south of Stockholm. These are train tracks, we make music tracks, this is the past, we're heading on our future. It was a perfect analogy, right? No? Just roll with it. This is our history. So with me on our trip today, I have our video producer, Nalle, and he helps me ever so slightly with stuff. Well, Oscar, I think you're over-exaggerating a bit. I only help you with the filming, with the editing, the graphics, color grade, the audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but on a serious note though, uh, it's difficult being a CEO and at the same time trying to understand how content creation actually works. So Nal is doing his best to help me learn the ropes. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to really understand what it's like to be a content creator. Understand the ups, the downs, but ultimately all the challenges and how we as Epidemic can become an even better partner. Help you find the right music to bring your stories to life. That's what we're trying to do. Last time around, I spoke about how we got started and how we succeeded in soundtracking TV. I'm sitting in the sofa, kids have gone to bed and I'm watching one channel, our music is playing. Switch channel, our music is playing. I switch again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Every single channel in Sweden are playing our music at the exact same time. Okay, so the year is 2015, and YouTube is where it's at, and it has been for a long time. We're in the middle of the online video revolution. It's happening, and it's happening fast. We're looking out, and we're seeing a situation where people everywhere are becoming broadcasters. Everyone can share their stories with everyone. It's happening globally, and it's happening at light speed. So what we do is we package a revolutionary service, a subscription, all of our music, everything included to bring the stories to life. We're the first company to launch it and it launches incredibly well. So the reasons why it took off, why we've got so many subscribers are multiple. It's in part because of the music, the quality, diversity of tracks, but arguably it has a lot to do with the business model because it in its simplicity, it was revolutionary. We commissioned tracks directly from musicians and we put them in a catalog that we offered to the content creators of the world. Everything at the touch of a button, everything at your disposal. You could download as much music as you wanted to as much content as you wanted, put it all online and see it travel. Going to bed, sleeping super well, knowing that the content wasn't gonna get any copyright strikes, wasn't gonna get taken down, you weren't gonna be sued, you just had brilliant content that sounded amazing. Eventually we look at each other and we say, holy shit, we're soundtracking the internet. We're soundtracking our generation's biggest collective achievement. It felt amazing. That's when we realized that this was our second mission. that's precious for us at Epidemic is that we're always pro-musician. And what we mean by that is that we love serving storytellers, but never at the expense of music creators. We believe that it's a partnership that both parties need to be happy for the relationship to work. So with that in mind, when we started seeing traction, when we started seeing distribution, we realized that the product that we created was an incredible marketing tool for musicians and for artists. Now, one of my favorite examples of this is Aftmau, a young gamer who used a track called Faster Car by Love & Caliber to bring her content to life. Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Okay, so looking at Love & Caliber on Spotify here just blows my mind. Faster Car has over 21 million streams on Spotify alone. And this is so cool. They were just passionate musicians and really good at their craft. And Afma found them. And the viewers loved it, took it to their hearts, and the rest is internet history. 
this is just such a testament to sort of it works. My heart is First time you're flying a drone? Yep. Is it the last time you're flying a drone? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So when we uploaded all the music to the streaming platforms, we did one important thing. We decided to share all that revenue 50-50 with the music creators. Typically, that was not the case before us. Why did we do it? Well, the obvious reason was it's the right thing to do. The second one was that that's what a partnership is all about. And the third reason was that we really wanted to make sure that we could boost the ecosystem, send in more money to support all creators, both storytellers and the music creators. Fast forward to today, we've come a long way in our mission to soundtrack the internet. Just the other day we released that our music gets played 1.5 billion times in videos across the internet every day, 1.5 billion times. So given where we're at when it comes to soundtracking the internet, we set ourselves a new mission. We want to soundtrack the world. And what do we mean by that? Well, we want to help all stories come to life through music. We want to help the digital ones and the physical ones. We want to help the ones in your private life and in your commercial life and everything in between. We want to do the things that you expect of us, but also the things that you don't expect from us. We want to be bold. So, to match this bold new ambition to soundtrack the world, we decided to update our entire look, our entire feel, our entire logo. We have a small versatile E now as our logo type. It's supposed to symbolize the, the inclusive nature of our company, encouraging all creators from all around the world to come join us and soundtrack the world. See you on epidemicsound.com. <laughs>